Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign. It is time to deal with the next operation called Spider Slayer and we're trying to stop uh, the next alien retaliation. The last one was not particularly successful if you remember we got uh, shafted quite a bit. We got a mixture of primary and secondary team and we're going to use the bolt caster for the first time. Could have used that uh, bad boy a bit earlier, but Frodo is going to lead the team and has the bolt caster engaged and equipped. We got Toxic here um, with the uh, frozen grenade. Sandman, Falcon, which should actually be called Primus. Gotta fix that real quick. There we go. I told you his name was Primus. We can't uh, deviate from that. Mike the Public Bravo is going to take on the Sniper today. And I have no idea why that bad boy always keeps changing his cutters. Apparently he's so used to kind of the Crocodile Dundee lifestyle that he wants to stay in brown. But not with us, my friend. You are a Sniper, so you should be white. Anyways, uh, your ranks is going to be the Frontliner. And as always, we're going to have no duplicates in our loadout which is why you see a lure here. I'm pretty sure that we're going to fight against one of the Chosens, potentially the Assassin. So let's take a good look and see what we're up against. And we just landed high ground, but uh, we are of course not concealed. So let's take a good look. That's a straight up... Um, that's a straight up mission where we need to find and protect all of the civilians. And the civilians we shall protect. I would like to move up here. Right. Couldn't figure out if there was someone, so might as well jump down. Mike the Public, bravo. A good point for him. This here looks like a great spot, but the trees, believe me, they are pretty much in the way. So for those of you who ever had problems with finding the right aiming angles, it's much better in this case to simply stand here on the second floor. Also provides full cover, so might as well use that. As for the high ground, I think we're going to use Toxic. Uh, we got Sandman, so why am I even scouting with anyone but that guy? Okay, so we already know what's going on. And let us overwatch. So we have at least two overwatches going. Those guys here are heavily armored. Gotta be careful. If we were to actually take a couple of shots here first of all you can see already that the trees are heavily in the way secondly if we were to take shots wouldn't it be fantastic if they take cover behind the car Well, I think that's a good starter, nonetheless. Moving to position. Moving up here. Uh, 
I guess that'll be okay. Let us try to remove all of the cover and explode these guys at the same time. Pretty resource intense, but I want to uh, move and hit the um, and basically get to the back line. Car is ready for an explosion. And we'll eventually do exactly that. Time to use our sniper on the only position where you could hit something. Oh, good lord. That was embarrassing. Alright, we could already fist fight that guy, which would be hilarious if you think about it. Good, our mech, our mech is going to get an aid protocol because they are going to go in soon. Let's try the bolt caster and see what it can do. Berserker takes the big fat shot and there we go. 10 points of damage. Very much enraged. Not stunned though. Too bad. Purifier could <laughs> blow up. If they would blow up, the Berserker wouldn't take damage though. Which in itself is a shame. We got the Heavy Lancer. Might as well use the over Overdrive for our advantage. And don't worry, the strike will come sooner than later. Lancer needs to die first. Berserk is now all already softened up. And there we go. We got the damage potential finally. And that's what we call a real explosion. Hell yeah. All right. Sandman continues to move up and we're good to go. So far, so good. First pack uh, was a pretty beefy one. But positively speaking, there is no more vision uh, interruption. So the sniper, yeah, well, these two trees here, never mind. Moving up. And holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. Do we, can we use our sniper? Okay, that is just too good. Hilarious. Oh wow, we I just spotted the Viper King. Reload sequence. Too bad the rocket launcher doesn't have the ultimate uh, range, but that would be fantastic. Reload is really the biggest disadvantage of that gun. Got the chance to kill that mutant. To play our cards right. Alright, 
Primo's over here. Moves up. And we're eventually going to yeah, move up with everyone. See, if we had Silent Killer, most guys would be dead. But we don't. So that means, unfortunately, can't really do much here. Wow, he's enraged. And now they are just clustering up because they don't know where we are. <laughs> okay. Oh. Guess what? We do still have a big fat rocket. Is that what? going to work. Saiken. You intriguing but um, equally likable. Warlord, you have just used the ultimate off screen killing technique. We've got a chance to take this thing down once and for all, Commander. Let's get it done. <laughs> the mutant stone. Don't even know what's going on. They are just standing there. Completely unsure what to do. cover and we're just going to overwatch now. let's kill the mutants real quick We can even comet protocol him. Well, that would be plain mean. Let's just go for an overwatch for now and see how he's going to react. If he moves in, he'll take a lot of shots. Well, it's not him. He's not charging in, but the Berserk eventually is. <laughs> and just gets melted. I'm having way too much fun with these items. Free reload. 80% chance, 60% for an insta kill. I think we're taking the 80% chance, and there is even a crit chance included. Let's try Comet Protocol just to see if it works. Okay, almost there. I like it. Moving as ordered. I will always find you. I've spotted an alien patrol. 
patrol. Uh, I potentially can't just take the shot here, but wow, that would be helpful. Now let's let's just wait a tiny bit longer. We're actually okay. We have enough um, civilians that can still survive. Viper is taking quite a bit of heat here. Lots of double moves. And a bit of overwatch. All right, we can start with the Viper King. And that civilian helps us with Overwatch. Fantastic. Not exactly sure what the guy is currently doing. Okay, cool. This should stun him. There we go. And we might be able to skin that thing alive. We got a scope and an expanded magazine. Could always frost bomb and basically ignore the other three. Or we could get just uh, just go in like like a true man and fist bump that thing. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun with those extra abilities. Mutant is potentially the most dangerous foe here. Is this revealing us? Oh yeah, this is very much revealing us. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Well, hello there. We certainly don't want to be up here. Frost bomb would launch far enough. Like I mentioned, we need to CC these uh, two for a round. Out of curiosity, that's only six to seven points of damage. Don't stand next to a car and don't stand on top of something because both of these things will eventually end really, really poorly. We're going to take a hit, but we're not going to die. All right. 
right, it just destroyed itself and fell down. We gotta be careful, very soon there won't be any more left over. So we got one, two, three civilians over here. We gotta pr uh, press on. Get a nice little free reload and three. There we go. Well, that's the pack. Got to move up and deal with that potential last pack. There might be another one, but I think these guys here are the last ones. You will never hide from me. Ready to engage. Got it. All right, moving up. They are still a bit further away, so this here I'm could be a good position here. for an overwatch. To overwatch. Ready to go. Thrower needs to reload. Position confirmed. All right, now we got to be careful. No more kills. From now on, we got to engage and no excuses. One of the enemies will be, uh, or still is, a faceless one. Moving over. Oh, well, that was fast. Good job. Fully reached this guy, unfortunately. I would love to suppress him, but that seems to be not doable. These guys, and one of them is a faceless one, the other one is not. We gotta hit a really hard hit here. Uh. Still can't see that guy. Could we try to use flashbang? No. Can we try to hit him? Yes. At least the combat protocol will make him susceptible so that one shot, one lucky shot with maximum damage might be able to get him. If 
problem is I can't reach him. 37% and there's a really low percent chance for a crit here. So that's unlikely to happen. Let's still give it a try. Did not happen, but we got his cover away, which will likely force him to move away. Nope, not at all. He's just standing there like a pro. Okay, could have really effed up our, that whole mission for us. Mike tries to get this guy. No good. There's still one more face, this one. Efficiency is my speciality. I'm going to need more ammunition. Yeah, and I. I had a reason why I didn't want the uh, the Reaper to take the shot. Alright, Overwatch. Moving over. We just miss a 94% shot. Okay, cool. But at the same time, we uh, kept being revealed. Uh, unrevealed. Frodo. Misses the 70% shot. Time to nail him with that bolt caster. Reload. The damage is fine. The time required, the momentum that you're giving up, is the big problem. Alright, barely made it. I had too much fun. And... Yeah, just when it became a bit more serious, I needed to start making sure that we're not losing that uh, serious. But yeah, on the on the flip side, we killed the uh, we killed the Viper King, and that was really really good. Now it's time for his suit, and there we go. Did we get a promotion? No, we did not. Well, the rest was good, though. We got quite a few corpses, specifically the Viper King. Plus 18 supplies isn't bad either. Maybe we'll get another spark, who knows. But for now, more experimental weapons, more experimental grenades, and so on and so forth. So that one was good. I like it. Let's continue making contact. Our avatar project control is phenomenal this game. I think we've never even gotten to the Doom Clock. We still got the Black Side mission. And just when I'm starting to think about it, of course. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Commander, we've located one of You can't script that. Heading myself on the back game humbles you immediately. Okay, cool. 
I'll do that off screen, I suppose. Okay, well, just another ambush and we have finally located the stronghold. That's the more important part. So we got inside knowledge. All weapon modifications are increased. That's a good one. Passive 1 plus 50% if I'm not mistaken. And we got some decent options here. Reducing avatar project progress plus mobility. That is great. Health and weapon upgrade. There are quite a few good ones. I specifically like the health upgrades because we're short on health, right? And having a superior weapon upgrade plus health isn't bad either. But the mobility also is good. So we should take that mobility. Skirmisher is grappling quite a bit. I mean, the Ranger could use it, I suppose. Grenadier could also use it. Sharpshooter could technically use it. Reaper is a movement monster. So if we were to put him in, that would be yet another uh, movement on top of the plus three movement. And I think we already gave him movement. But hell, why not? Let's go for it. We're reducing the Avatar project progress by two. And getting some mobility on top of it. We got the fastest scout in the history of XCOM 2. This will prove to be an Finally got Elarium figured out. So that'll give us quite a bit. An upgrade for the power calls, plasma weapons, and plasma armor. And a couple of instant breakthroughs. I would, I find it Battlefield it medicine is good. I like that. So often referred to in the past as the thin man. I am at a lot. I've often wondered how Faces one gives us mimic beacons. They are banned, unfortunately. Just too good of an item. Are they merely another construct of alien genetics? That one is okay, but we are fine on... We're fine on the extra cost for communication stations. It's not too bad by thinking about it. I mean, that's well, actually not too bad. The other option is plasma weapons. I like it. And we gotta have a mutant autopsy for powered armor. Hmm. You know what? Why not? Let's go for plasma rifles and just uh, get the core tech out of the way. And then we're getting all of those extra goodies. Or alternatively, we're staying with mid game. I mean, it's choose to lose for a reason, right? So this here is choose to win. So if we were kind of looking for something super niche hellfire vest is pretty niche gotta admit that specter one is niche the berserker one definitely is niche the point why i'm a bit on the fence with that is once you go plasma rifle you get a bunch of free autopsies on top so you're actually saving some some time with that Let's go Plasma Rifle and Powered Armor. We don't need to upgrade it immediately. But we will get some more breakthroughs. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. New orders, Commander. And in terms of this here, yeah, Mimic Beacon and Mind Shield are both banned. And we still don't have other stuff. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent. Four more days until we get the grenades. And by the way, if this fails again, 
I'll, I'll just edit some grenades and some ammunition in and reduce the core because something is clearly wrong at this point. Battlefield medicine could be an option. Not too bad. I also like the idea of an exosuit. And of course, experimental heavy weapons. I think we want the flamethrower. We can, I, I guess we can all agree on that one. So flamethrower it is, and a couple of the new items. Has he really decreased it by 40? Holy shit. Continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. The Chosen are going to do whatever it takes to get. To okay, so to <laughs> protect the device. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. And if the Chosen get made whole, that actually would be a nice challenge. So I will deliberately give them that. Intel is good. Like it. Surgical, not so much. And that would be a destruction plus a new high-level ranger. Well, on the other hand, I'm not sure. People will sometimes like also to see um, surgical missions. So maybe we're just going with that one here. Difficult uh, one nonetheless, but I think we could pull it off if we're having the right combination. I think we could pull it off. Maybe I'll figure out what we're going to do in the meantime. And we're also getting some ammunition because that seems to not work. So let me fix both of it and see you in the next run. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And like I said, see you in the next run. Bye bye.